Let's do a quick mutation scan. Like, um, pink sapphire is an oracle. <laughs> She's just got that super cool subliminal extra polite, um, almost Japanese um, sense of humor or sarcasm. And she was reading the one about the duck pond uh, somewhere in California, probably northern California. <coughs> about all these ducks in the local um, retention pond that people like to feed. And for the last year, they've been the hatchlings have been coming out with mutated wings, and of course they don't last long. But so after a plethora of um, complaints to the city to look into it or the whatever, the county health department, however it works down there, they came back with their official story that it was because of all the food that uh, the humans were feeding and the humans were to blame. Oh yeah. Yeah, good enough. Hard to imagine how somebody could... Uh, actually accept their paycheck after a civil service like that. Right, okay, so let's just apply a little outhouse logic. Um, okay, so the birds have been fed like that since the pond was made 25 years ago. And all of a sudden, just this last breeding season, the exact same breadcrumbs, Kentucky Fried Chicken, whatever that people were feeding it, made it made made a whole bunch of them mutate, visibly mutated. Uh, what changed? What? So is that your way of saying that the food's all poisoned? Get real. Ducks feed at the bottom of ponds, retention ponds in cities are the fucking loose holes. You might as well be going into the bottom of a manhole. That, that's where all the runoff. Not, nothing gets filtered. It doesn't get filtered through the sand and the mud and the clay. It just carries on down the gutter and down the drain and the storm drains and out into the retention pond. Don't stick a Geiger counter in there. Don't scoop some of that muck out or that water and spend 50 bucks or whatever and get it tested because, you know, any of the testing places that are still haven't been run out of business are probably uh, as corrupt as anything. Which, by the way, is um, criminal negligence causing harm and, well, eventually death. If you uh, butcher a report like that. And unlimited strict liability on both the uh, tester and whatever corporation or they work for. So I kiss it all goodbye. Forget about your plan B, I'll just take up my second citizenship, because that, that's all been sewed in the ass. That, that stuff ain't happening anymore. Now, perhaps if you manage to s steal 10 million or more, they'll let you in. But other than that, you're stuck in the nest that you helped shit in. Civil servant. I no problem, I'll live like a king on my hundred grand. In uh, Mexico or what are that places where all the brown people... Oh yeah, right. The brown people aren't going to welcome uh, any fucking uh, whites. When they know what you've already done. Whites, pink skins. Uh, you guys are whites.
fucking skin's too good of a tag. Wait, like, like a ghost. Fictitious, non-existent figment of imaginations. Boy, they sure are do so. Hey, hey! Hey, guys! I told you, no bones! Cindy! Hey, come on! Uh, sorry! Uh, so, yeah, anyhow, um, what did I turn this thing on for? I was just gonna give a quick, um, YouTube update. Um, anyone else having, uh, Having their comments and post disabled, or is that extra special censorship just for me? I uh, asked uh, several of my regulars, and I got back what was obviously a not their answer, but some paid uh, Echelon or NSA or Google or YouTube shill or something, fraudulently posting an answer in response. Which was such a fucking lame, crappy ex response. I can't believe that some half-retarded, retired train killer that knew enough to actually type would put those kind of replies. So I'm guessing it's a computer-generated response. So as I was saying last week, what's up? Well. Clearly, they've got the next phase in operation here. Certainly shutting us all down. Um, now, getting back onto the... Uh, strict liability and due diligence on our partner's part. Uh, our partner being um, YouTube. Hey, come on up here. Come on. You can't be down there. The... Uh, <clears throat> the latest and greatest and scams, I'm, I'm sure you all got them unless I was somebody trying to set me up to commit fraud um, when they're the ones doing the fraud. Uh, so I've at least got them on conspiracy to commit fraud. I can't remember. I did send them out and I threw Bolton uh, post and I don't imagine anyone got to see them. Uh, one was a uh, solicitation from a, an outfit claiming to be in the Philippines, um, wanting to sell me um, 10,000 views, so whether they've, uh, however, no, no point speculating how they were going to do it, whether they were going to hire some poor Filipino uh, prostitutes that, you know, came down with AIDS and had their license revoked or whatever, and so now here, here, do this, and so what, they just, you know, click views and from a, a list of views or whatever and you know do 500 of those an hour or whatever for 50 cents um, no idea what they were charging but anyhow you can see what I'm getting at the bottom line here and then two weeks later there was another one um, which I was retaliated against with a bunch of um, my comments being marked as spam, which leaves a, a trail right up to uh, YouTube, and I informed them of all this. Um, so there's no playing, well, we didn't know. Why didn't you inform us? Um, when, in fact, it's all probably coming from them or their contractors anyhow, uh, because the place is run by, well, parasitic ruling losers, and uh, the ex-trained killer lackey flunkies that they hire as the um, front man. So, uh, you know, basically what I'm getting at is all the billions of dollars that have been spent and or laundered through YouTube in the form of buying commercial advertisements. Uh, it, well, well, clearly this is highly suggestive of a pattern 
uh, even though I've only been solicited twice for um, fraudulent uh, view counts. Um, so, like, are you all being cheated out of your advertisement dollars? And that 10,000 views you paid for last week was some computer program out of the Philippines or, or as I said, a bunch of impoverished, desperate, um, disabled prostitutes hacking away that that had already been trained to do fake dating sites and you know because we closed that all down and exposed it for what it is so now oh, no no problem here we got you some other work um and keep in mind you people that are that are actually getting sucked into doing this for you know a dollar a day or whatever um You're just buying yourself a one-way ticket into the slave camp when, when, if and when these pieces of garbage manage to pull their, their routine off, which, you know, could be before or after a Third World War or whatever. Um, too many variables to uh, speculate after the shit hits the fan or before when they decide, well, it's time to round up all the slaves uh, and switch to a blatant slave economy as as opposed to an indentured slave economy guess who's first on the list well yeah there's people like me that they'll you know just line us up and shoot us but uh guess who's gonna suffer until they starve to death just like they were in Auschwitz mm-hmm yeah you got it it's you all for a buck a fucking day At least I'll die with a clean conscience. And the last thoughts on my mind will be, Hey, fuck, at least I tried! So, you're not committing your crimes in ignorance anymore. You know exactly what, what you're being used against. Shutting down people that are trying to um, get the truth out so every human on this earth can make informed decisions and go forward and you know act at least slightly sentient like they care about their own life even if they are so stunted they can't give spit about it any other life their own kind or other species well hey enjoy the sermon Stephen we're coming after you. We're coming, says the full force of the law. And I don't mean those pathetic pieces of crap at CSIS or uh, RCMP or any of them. If they were any good, they wouldn't have lasted their, uh, their second year. Bear, quit eating that. Told you it's not tested. Hey! That'll about wrap it up. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, all you people that have invested in the uh, superiority aircraft, the, you know, F-22, F-35, that kind of shit, uh, I'm talking to you, uh, not, 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 not the taxpayer. You deserve to have all your money stolen from you. I'm talking about the pieces of garbage that, you know, rather than, say, investing in their neighbors or their children, uh, greedily took their pension funds and handed them over to a RRSP or a 401k or whatever they call it, wherever you are, and funded this fiat defense industry, which has actually got nothing to do with defense. None of the weapons they make are defensive. These high tech, they're just empty, hollow pyramid scams. Yeah, well, I don't know if any of you actually received that <coughs> YouTube by forward of the, uh, the Russians and their. Uh, just giving you a glimpse at their uh, sound detection system, which is quite advanced and did quite a remarkable job on uh, on the uh, Treblinsky um, impactor meteorite. Um, that was just to say, hey, fuck, you can make it invisible to, to light, you can make it invisible to, well, radio.